Oh, because of that. Yeah, that's how we ended up in there. <laughs> No, 105 stars. And the path continues on the deal. Mm, nothing. Looks like we're going off to fight. Uh, uh, going off to the next area. We have the fight. So we trigger this. You can see a glimpse of it right now to the right of the screen. Oh, and also. We skipped the cutting into to now we have Bowser's Galaxy Generator. But if we go back here, a cutting will trigger. Wait, it's save. Alright, it's about uh, Captain. Somewhere in there. Your princess is waiting. What a surprise, that's a comet. It looks like powers. Stars weren't the only thing getting eaten up around here. It looks like Bowser wants to get even bigger. You need to stop that that monster before he de devours everything in his path. Get in there and show him what you got. Now, I could have just... Now, what I could have done was I could have just uh, shown the cutscene first and then... Show, show, did this little trick here, but the thing is, that cutscene only plays once. That's the only way how I would have been able to show it off, off with, off was that I would have to, to, do this, hit restart, start, start into it, or hit, we menu, menu here, so I could go back to the menu, reload the game up, look, reload my file and such, and yeah, so let's go into this and. By the way, this looks probably the one of the greatest exteriors to that we have a seen for a battle series, so because uh, his face is like being built into, looks like he's being built into a giant wall, which would have been cool for like a giant castle. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, that's big one strategy. We're skipping that cutting thing. It was quite it's pretty cool, good one, and no Luigi. All right, because he knows this one's a uh, for Mario. Yeah, that speed, yeah, that speed running strategy that can save you up to about a minute of cutscene uh, uh, and things if you want to speed run the game. But which it's not too big of a deal, but it's still kind of something you could do. <laughs> now we'll, we'll say this for this being like a la final of last level of a of the game for fighting Bowser. So that is, is, is they definitely improved themselves on this with the music and the structure. Sure, because, because this just shows you, you're about music here, just, it's, it's way on telling you, yeah, you're about to finish this. Listen, this level we take combined it doesn't combine nearly every element that we've seen throughout the game, except for certain power up, uh, certain things like certain power ups, ups and such. So, and this is like the best part of the song right now. Okay, that, okay, that's probably it, but the best part of the song, at least that's my opinion, but I'm not going to be quiet during each point that plays because, yeah, I don't want to just do it for every, best part of the song for everything, a speed running strategy right here, <laughs> here with which will require you to take a hit to dump the drill, I think if my memory correctly, the Oh wait, maybe the comet metal is not around here. I'm, maybe it's somewhere else. Uh, that was bad. Anyway, well, probably later on. But for now, we'll just focus on the, on getting through. Trying to judge how high to go. Here before it, that, yeah, there's a little gap up there that you can hide through. 
or sneak through. So if you wanted to, go right up there, there with a bunch of coins. Even though there's no, which coins are not really shoot, 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 shoot. That, that didn't, that didn't go as planned. My idea was like wall jump, jump in there, but, but that forgot they can't wall jump that way. And yeah, so that, well, that's something that we forgot. And yeah, I think that. Yeah, it will take that shortcut will take you up to here, so you can skip quite a bit of platforming for doing this. <laughs> and yeah, you can see the end where we need to go right over there from from here. Here, when I see a Yoshi egg, so Yoshi's gonna help us. As but but sadly, he's not gonna be able to help us with the fine final boss, which would have been cool if he did, but. But there is a way to. There was like some inf an infinite jump trick that you can do with Yoshi. But it's like involving yourself crouching there. And, 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 and jumping. I forget how it's pulled off. Uh, off. But if you can pull it off, you, it, it can't, you can get Yoshi to the final boss. A boss with Bowser to help you with him, even though you don't really need him. But. Well, it would just feel so be so cool if you. A shark. Okay, okay. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. There. Yeah, just like that boomerang, bro. Don't see anything back here? Okay, nope, just no Yoshi. Now, at this point here, you gotta do some timing. I mean, because that point closes and can squish you. Like, as soon as it opens. Grab that and start running. And we got, because you're gonna need it to get to the end. At least it's not too strict on that, to, to where you can do do it like when it's fully open and then do it. There we go. Yeah, that, I remembered where the common metal is. It's straight ahead. You can, you can kind of see it now. And oh, yeah, that's why this is here. So no matter what, you get you're forced to go here. So four. There we go. We got a comet metal wind. Hey, why is that there? Oh, why? Let's just see why. That's why. To get over that. That's uh, and now that we did that, we're almost at the end of this. Listen, I can see the checkpoint. And yeah, this is where you would have to do the one up, the infinite fly thing, glitch thing, in order to, in order to do it. But if you do, oh, well, oh wait. But if you get off of Yoshi right here, he starts waving goodbye to you and saying like, good luck on the final boss or something. It's kind of similar to how he waves and, it's very similar to how he waves, waves here then then from it. Just like in the new Super Mario Bros. games. So you have the same paint strategy to do here. Ground pound this thing to hit those lot the Bowser logos to, and the door will open. And unfortunately this but what kinda of sucks is what sucks is the final boss is a little bit disappointing. I mean it does do something different, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Oh, give it up already. Why won't you stop trying to mess up my awesome master plan? I'm building my new galactic empire right up here. Right here. And you can't stop me. Why don't you just run off and go find some green pipe to hide in? Gee, I wish there would be, Bowser, but I don't see a green pipe around here. Oh, I just noticed. I just saw, like, the... Uh, the... Um, I'm not gonna read this about it. I just saw like the flaw, the launch star stream, the slipstream thing that you, in the, like the background to the right there for a second. Yeah, there it is again. You can see it. <laughs> Which is, 
I don't think I've noticed that ever noticed that before. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, the boss fight here, here, it's still the same as it was before. I mean, it does do a little bit of different stuff, like it has that there, which I think before it was vertical. And yeah, you can still see it. Yeah, from here, the, you know, which, yeah, it's, it kind of sucks. It's, this is a little bit disappointing because it's still the same boss fight as we've seen before. It would have been cool if they did something different and, like, have, like, more different types of boss fight. Fights, okay. Had, like, different types of boss fight. Uh, different types of phases in the boss fight, like in Galaxy 1, where she had to hit Bowser in, like, that rock thing and then had to hit him with those spy. With those pl green plants, that was when he was in the double sh sided shell helping, but and then go on to the standard one fight that we fought him with before. Which, yeah, so they kind of got to reverse swap this fight boss Bowser's last level. Okay, they kind of reverse the roles here, well, better atmosphere feel, but feel but just a, a little bit of a disappointing final boss. As well, and the only one that was a little bit disappointing, well, it wasn't that disappointing at all, it just, it was still good, but this one just felt like it did it better with the area it was held in, than in the music and such. Uh, but, and you know what I mean <laughs> at this point. I mean, just, but avoid that fire. Ah, it got me. At least he doesn't have to restart his phase. Darn it. I was too cl close to that one. Okay. Let's try this again. Ooh. Yeah, I need to do more turns on these and not just run straight. Because running straight might not always work. Like, uh, unless you're a Luigi who can run a little faster. So, and this isn't the, it just it for the final boss. There is something else here, which is they do get almost everything right on it, except for it, on how fast it takes to on, on eggs to do it. Which I'm not gonna spoil what it quite is yet because it's it, it's quite a, a cool thing that they thing that they did. And I would say this is definitely the longest that we've been on this boss. Let's fight out of all of them. Okay, but I was concerned there if it was gonna hit that or not. Well, it was gonna hit the gold one from, that was in front of it. So, good. Looks like we did it. Yeah, and it was the grand star. Hmm, something seems off here. Shouldn't some slight jingle play? Cause I don't hear any jingle. Hmm, let's go. Well, let's just grab this and see. Surprise! That's why there was no slight jingle. Hey, guess what, Mario? Breath of size will be because uh, I don't know what I'm saying. It's five percent. End of you. Okay, I was just not being, making any noise there because I wanted to be quiet so you can hear this awesome music. Again, this fight, uh, the fight, the music is the best part about this. So Bowser is gonna try to get up close to you and try to hit you. But as you saw, the other coin fall into me. So like, no ma if you, matter what, Bowser can't actually kill you. But it, it, it you probably can, but just a small chance. But this fight is a cool, has a cool idea. It had cool, almost worked. Except for the fact that it ends quickly. 
A little too quickly, that is, but I'm kind of dragging it out a little bit just for the heck of it. Okay, what's. It, it only takes four hits. Just four hits, and that's it. Which is a little di quite disappointing. What? Anything but. It's alright for a final boss. It, it definitely was handled better in Galaxy 1. At least that's just my opinion. Even though there's nothing wrong with this. Hmm. Boss fight. Yeah, before we do that, come underneath here. There are some story beds that you can get. Uh, just seven more and I would have one. I could have reached 100. Yeah, she actually said it. That what she was saying for once. Cool. And I just saw the slipstream. Oh, power st launch the slipstream again up at the top. Well, like, if you pause the video back, you'll see it. <laughs> Gee, I don't know what's up with me in that, but uh, it's not a big deal. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. It's the Comet Observatory, which is... Same as it was back in Galaxy 1, except there were some small differences. This isn't it, if you might notice. But they were kind of cool. Oh, that we get to see it. Yeah, then we even get to hear the music of it. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna stay on this screen for too long. I just wanted to stay there for a little bit. Triangle, triangle, X, triangle, X, triangle. Uh, go. <laughs> I always thought we would meet again. Mama. I am Rosalina. I watch over the over and protect the comet. I have been waiting for all of you. When that, that evil monster took our star power, I was separated from my flesh, precious little one. But I knew we see each other again, and because uh, there was a force that blinds us to find we even time and space. Not even the laws of the universe can stop us. I knew its gentle pull would provide. It is a desire to, uh, to the to be reunited with someone who is important to you. Uh, that pole is what brought us together. Yes. We have came through so much to meet again. This is not same mer whim of the stars. I am sure of that, Mario. Of returning this child to me. I will never forget you. Even when I someday become a star myself. I will never forget you, Mario. Never, ever, I won't forget you. Yep, definitely won't forget now because it just takes Mario's hat with him. <laughs> but... Tell her, he, he, Mario can, still has another half. May the stars shine down on you. It's funny because I said in the uh, beginning of this LP that it's kind of like a retelling of the of the story, but uh, but I guess that kind of teases. Oh, it's not. So the little one it was reunited with his special one.
and you too, pal. Am I right? <sighs> All right, you two. It's time to get you back to your home planet. I can actually kind of hear a little echo of that at Wahoo. And I'm also reading this to kind of elongate this segment a little more. And if you ever want to see Mario without his hat for quite a bit, for a good amount of time, well, that's the best chance you get. At least of, as, of, at least of what I know. Unless you want to get going to Super Mario Sunshine and just let one of those things in Peanut Park take Mario's hat and he just dies with it. But anyway, well, that's if a not that's not it for Super Mario Galaxy Two, because we, as I said already, we are far from finish. But and the credits are rolling. But we'll say they definitely handled the credits better, better in this than in Galaxy One. Mainly, be, we we one reason is because it's not on a it's not just on a black screen, or not on a black black background of pictures popping in. Now and then, but the real reason is because you can interact in here, in here with Mario about his hat, and uh, you can fall off this part right here, but it's hard to because I know you can. I've seen it done before, and Mario cannot spin because it does not have the Luma with him, or even his hat. Had so, and there were certain tricks you could pull off here, like uh, you can possibly die in certain parts of these. Like there's one part that we could do, but we can't do it yet because uh, we just can't at the moment. Yeah, collecting star bits, I'm pretty sure they do add to your star account. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's push just snowball. Can't spin because we can't do this, and. As well, of all, well, this already has been pretty fun, but we're not done yet. We still have more fun ahead of us. Of us, because we're going 100%. We have like 106 or 7 stars right now, but we know the Mario way. That's not how it's supposed to go. And this is the point right here where I thought that I couldn't get access to Yoshi, but then I just jumped on him and realized, oh, I can. So it's nice we can act and have Yoshi with us doing the credits. That's which is cool. And there are limits you can walk around here. Like you can't just walk off screen. Okay, well I guess you kind of can. Um, but you there are limits to where you can't die. And as long as you're sitting on Yoshi, you'll be able to go on to the next. You'll be able to bring him with the next part of these credits here. And his credits do feel well, like they go by quicker than Galaxy 1's credits. Maybe that's just me. And look at this, Bowser. Gee, you 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 seem about to be about the size of Jerry from Tom and Jerry. Because like you're so much bigger than everyone, and you shoot Bowser, you shrunk a lot. But yeah, he'll get back to normal size. Bowser Jr. will do something about him, but. By the way, we never ran into Bowser Jr. once during this final boss, which kind of sucks, which I think he would, which they got it right for Galaxy 1, One, but they didn't. And it's dead all. And you can't interact with any of these guys, you can just stun them and do stuff like this. Yeah. Just like the last game, but we're far from, we're not done yet. We still have some stuff to do. Yeah. Special, what does that say? Spe open, spe you opened a special world? Hmm. Gee, so that means we're not done yet. We still have some more stuff to do. So I guess that's what we'll be doing for next episode. So I guess I'll see you all next time for that.